would like to welcome you all to St. Mary Parish uh, for today's uh, uh, ceremony, the wedding of uh, George and Crystal. And on behalf of both families, uh, we welcome you, family and friends, uh, to share this moment of joy and happiness uh, uh, with them. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Loving God, make us worthy to begin by glorifying you and to end by giving you thanks. Bless us in your peace. Guard your servants, George and Crystal. Protect them by your cross and save them from all evil and harm. Glory be to you, O Lord our God, now and forever. Amen. May we be worthy to offer praise and thanksgiving to Jesus Christ, the heavenly bridegroom. In his love he betrothed the church of all peoples and nations. By his cross he sanctified her and made her glorious bride. To him be glory now and forever. God, creator and ruler of all things, you took the dust of the earth into your holy hands, fashioned Adam in your glorious image, and formed our mother Eve from his rib. O lover of all people, with your right hand, now bless your servants, George and Crystal, who are betrothed to one another. Confirm them in faith, hope, love, and just deeds. Make their marriage as honorable as the marriages of the righteous and just of all. They served you in justice, and you multiplied their descendants like the stars of the sky and the grains of sand on the seashore, as they brought forth priests, kings, prophets, apostles, preachers, and teachers of your good news. So likewise, grant your servants, George and Crystal, to bear the fruits of justice and bring forth children of blessings. Fill them with your fear and surround them with your peace all the days of their lives. Indeed, O Lord our God, assist them with your might and extend your right hand over them. Protect, protect them with your loving cross and keep them safe by your holy angels. We shall praise and thank you, your Father and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Christ our Lord and God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you gave joy to the groom and the bride at the wedding banquet in Cana of Galilee. Now, O Lord our God, accept the, uh, the, the petitions, bless George and Crystal, their witnesses, and all their guests, as you bless the just and their children, to you be glory now and forever. Kadishat aloha, Kadishat hail tono, Kadishat lo mayuto. Fitra hamalei. Kadishat aloha, Kadishat hail tono, Kadishat lo mayuto. Kadishat aloha, Kadishat hail tono, Kadishat lo mayuto. Please be 
seated for the readings. We have two readings chosen from the Bible today. The uh, first reading is taken from the book of Genesis, and the second reading is taken from the book of Revelation. A reading from the book of Revelation. Father, give your blessing. I, John, heard what sounded like the loud voice of a great multitude in heaven saying, Hallelujah. Salvation, glory, and might belong to our God. A voice coming from the throne said, Praise our God, all you his servants, and you who revere him, small and great. Then I heard something like the sound of great multitude, or the sound of rushing water or mighty peals of thunder, as they said, Hallelujah. The Lord has established his reign, our God the Almighty. Let us rejoice and be glad, and give him glory. For the wedding day of the Lamb has come, his bride has made herself ready. She was allowed to wear a bright, clean linen garment. Then the angel said to me, Write this, Blessed are those who have been called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Praise be to God always. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord said, it is not good for man to be alone. I will make him a suitable partner. So the God formed out of the ground various wild animals and various birds of the air and brought them to man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of the air, and all wild animals but none proved to be a suitable partner for the man. So the Lord cast a deep sleep on the man. And while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed it up in its place with flesh. The Lord then built into a woman the rib and that he had taken from the man. When he brought her to man, the man said, this one at last is my bone of my bones, my flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman. And out of her man, this one had been taken. That is why man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife. And the two of them became one body. Praise be to God always. attentive to the gospel of life and salvation of our Lord Jesus Christ as recorded by the evangelist Matthew. Remain silent, listeners, for the Holy Gospel is about to be proclaimed to you. Listen and give glory and thanks to the world of living God. One of the Pharisees, a scholar of the law, tested Jesus by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. This is the truth. Peace be with you. Praise and blessings to Please be seated. 
I know that the past few days have been hectic for you, George and Crystal, but here you are. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, and this is a happy occasion, happy time. It's a uh, day of blessing and graces for you, both of you, for your families and your friends here today with you to share this moment of joy and happiness. Over the past few months, I had the honor and privilege to work with George and Crystal, uh, preparing them for this uh, day in their lives. And I can safely say that George and Crystal are made for each other. Not only they uh, work in the same field, in the medical field, but their personalities are compatible. And I am absolutely certain you are made you will make a perfect couple. And uh, today, uh, you come to the uh, temple of God to say yes to one another. And this exchange of vows, the exchange of consent, is the essence of the Christian understanding of marriage. When you say yes to one another, and this covenant that you will have together today in the Church of God is a covenant based on love. It is love that brings you together today, and it's love that will bind you together for the rest of your lives. From now on, uh, you are to be uh, one body in Christ Jesus, to have one life, and to have one purpose and meaning in life. As we uh, know that for us Christians, uh, marriage is modeled on the love that God has for us in Christ Jesus. The love that Christ Jesus has for us is unconditional and is unbounded. And this love knows no limits. And as we have heard from the Gospel of St. Matthew today, the scholar of the law, a Pharisee who came to Jesus, asking him, what is the greatest commandment of any religion? And Jesus says to him, you shall love God with all your might, with all your heart, and with all your might. And the other commandment is just like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love for us Christians means something much deeper than what society teaches us about love. Love for us means self-giving, self-giving unconditional surrender to the other, and unconditional acceptance of the other as other. And the church and the Jesus Christ teaches us that for marriage to last, for marriage to be happy, to be prosperous, uh, husband and wife should trust unconditionally in one another, should respect one another, and should give one another the freedom uh, to be who they are and this is the richness of married life. Uh, George has a distinct personality, has a very distinct background, and Crystal is the same. She is a, a distinct person, and she has her background and her understanding of herself. Coming together brings richness to this relationship and to this uh, marriage. For us here today, with you we celebrate we enjoy this moment with you, and we ask God's blessings upon you as you embark on a new journey in life together as a married couple. Remember that the love that you exchange today with one another, and this is the foundation of the covenant that you will have with one another for the rest of your life. Remember that marriage is always a project, it is a project that you need to work on every single moment of your life. And for this project to succeed, you have to give yourself the benefit of the doubt, you have to respect one another, and you have to trust one another, you have to love one another unconditionally, and you have to give of yourself to the other unconditionally, and you have to accept the other as other. Marriage is a wonderful thing. Look around you, all the couples that are married can testify to that. But also marriage brings on a lot of challenges, a lot of challenges. There is no marriage that is free of trouble and problems, but that's not the issue. We all know that life is full of challenges, full of problems, happy moments, sad moments, and what have you. 
But the problem is when we don't know how to deal with these special moments in our lives. Remember that Christ Jesus is with you. God is always with you. You can rely on the grace of God and the, uh, the grace of Christ Jesus in your life. And if you trust in each other, you love each other, and you accept the presence of God in your life, there is nothing in this life that you cannot uh, solve and you, no problem that you can never surmount. So we're with you today. We pray with you. And we ask the Lord Jesus to continue to bless you abundantly as you move on to new challenges and new experiences together in this uh, life. Uh, we don't want to say that, uh, lucky you, you're moving to Los Angeles, but that's fine. We take that. That's okay. We wish you all the best and God's blessings and uh, graces to be with you in the days ahead. Please stand. And now I would like to ask Crystal and George to come forward with their witnesses. Uh, up the step, please. And now the exchange of vows. I will ask George first. Uh, and the answer should be, yes, I do. There is no other answer. That's the only answer you can give today. Yes, I do. Is that OK? All right. George, do you take Crystal here present for your wife? Yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. Good, perfect. Crystal, do you take George your present for your husband? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> louder, louder, louder. Yes, I do. Okay. Now I would like you to place your right hands on the Bible for the prayer of covenant. By the hand of God and his holy word, George and Crystal are joined in marriage in the name of the, the most holy trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the one and only true God. May their marriage be as firm as the covenant by which heaven and earth were created and be blessed as was the covenant by which Sarah was joined to Abraham, Rebekah to Isaac, and Rachel to Jacob, so that nothing shall separate them but death. Amen. The rings, please. Loving God, extend the right hand of your Trinity and bless these rings which we give to your servants. Sanctify them by your word and grant that they may wear them in the sharing of their marriage. May these rings be a wall of protection for their bodies and shield them from all harm. May your grace shine upon them and your right hand filled with mercy bless them in sharing their happiness. May they give you glory and thanksgiving now and forever. Amen. And now George will place the ring on Crystal's ring finger as we bless. And Crystal will do likewise. With the rings of your marriage, may the right hand of our Lord Jesus Christ descend upon you. May the blessings of his grace, which fulfills all needs, abound in you. May these rings be a tower protection for you. May they shield you from all harm, and uh, may you set out for the tabernacle of the Lord and mingle with his, with his holy people. To you, O Lord, be glory now and forever. Amen. Like a crown, God has adorned the earth with flowers, the heavens with stars, and the land with the sea. With a crown, he has shown the special calling given to the holy kings, priests, prophets, and apostles. In his bountiful mercy, may he bless these crowns through the intercession of our, uh, the, the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints now and forever. Amen.
May the Lord God who crowned our holy fathers with justice look upon you, George, with love. You have come to the holy church of God seeking assistance. May the Lord God bless you, protect you always, and lead you to everlasting life. Amen. May God, who crowned all the holy women and blessed Sarah, Rebecca, and Rachel, bless you, Crystal, be merciful to you, and exalt you with a crown of glory adorned with the fruits of the Holy Spirit. May you flourish as a blessed vine in the midst of the church. May the Lord God fill you with joy as you dwell with your husband in love and abiding peace. May you bring forth children pleasing to God through the power and grace of our loving God now and forever. Amen. O oh God, bless these two witnesses who receive the crowns of witness. Protect them by your cross. And as they have today witnessed in your holy house, provide them with your blessings all the days of their lives. O oh Lord our God, to you be glory now and forever. Amen. And now the newlywed couple will make a dedication to the Blessed Virgin Mary with the presentation of roses, and they will go to the side of the altar. May the Lord God, who rules the whole universe, bless you and richly endow the work of your hands. May your home be secure as the dwelling place of David. May your wife be precious in your eyes and be as a column of fire within your home. May you find happiness all the days of your life. May your children stand upright before you. May God multiply your riches and may you give aid and comfort to those who call upon you. May you walk in the path of righteousness all the days of your life that you may render God glory and thanksgiving now and forever. Amen. May the Lord God who has filled creation with beauty and made the just rejoice in their deeds, enrich you with good, uh, with good works. May he confirm your heart in his justice. May you bring forth children pleasing to God. May you live with your husband in peace and love May your lamp be lighted before the Lord on the day of his coming. Amen. O oh Lord our God, may these witnesses be worthy to receive from you their good reward. May they go out to meet you in joy, and may their lamps burn with work of justice uh, through the intercession of our Lord Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. Amen. May God bless you, groom, bride, and witnesses, and protect this community by his glorious cross. May you begin and end your married life in justice, and may you bring forth children pleasing to God in this world and in the world to come. May you reach the harbor of eternal life. Amen. Amen. May the Lord God accompany you from this holy temple and protect you in body and soul. May he protect you from the snares of the devil and deliver you from the deceits of the wicked. After a long and happy life, may he make you worthy to hear from him these words of joy. Come blessed of my Father and inherit eternal life. 
Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor to introduce to you for the first time Dr. and Mrs. George Chakri. You may kiss your bride. Woo!